Hello everyone, Dr. Jeff Galini here and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. In the words of a friend of mine, it's going to be a good show. <laughs> a little humor there. Um, hey, Dustin Rickman uh, posted on Facebook a question, and again, you know, questions come in on post, uh, they come in mes messages, emails, you name it, uh, all over the place. What is the difference between creoxine and HCL? And he's talking about creatine HCL. The difference is creoxine is creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is the most studied form of creatine. It's the form that your body can actually utilize turn into that creatine phosphate so that your muscles can use it uh, as needed in that energy cycle. Again, without creatine, you cease to exist. It's so important that your body produces it. Creoxine is creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate, great, has a flaw. It is not stable in solution. The lower the pH, the quicker the conversion to creatinine, which is a bio waste. You do not want to be ingesting a bile waste. Trust me. Read my book, The Dangers of Creatinine. Now, creatine HCL's claim to fame is it's more soluble in water when we bond it to a salt. Well, first of all, creatine monohydrate, creoxin, they're soluble in water. So, you know, again, who cares? Solubility has nothing to do with stability or absorption. Absolutely nothing. So, to make creatine HCL, I've seen a lot of it, a lot of different ways. It all comes from China. The majority of it is nothing more than creatine monohydrate mixed with citric acid, malic acid. Again, lower the pH, things go into solution better. Not necessarily for creatine, but again, it's more of a scam. Uh, to make it, you take creatine monohydrate, you subject it to hydrochloric acid in a reactor, and you come up with creatine HCL. Now, that salt is anywhere from 60 to 40% now of that compound. So you've taken 99.9% .9 pure creatine monohydrate, and now you've got 40 to 60%. Why? Less? <laughs> How about you pull up to the gas pump and it says, we've added a salt to our gas, so no longer are you getting 85%, um, you're now getting 40%. But guess what? It smells better or it's gonna go in your gas tank better. Nothing to do with performance and it'd tear up your motor, but anyhow, if it would cut with water. So anyhow, that's really the thing behind HCL. It's not very good. Um, uh, you know, again, you do get some creatine, you know, don't, don't take me wrong that it, you know, I'm not going to say that it doesn't work. But again, you done lost 40, 50, 60 percent of something that has no problems other than its stability issue, which is what creoxine fixed. So, my friend, that's the difference between creoxine and creatine HCL. Hope that helps. I'm going to send you out a copy of my book, uh, Creatine. Talks all about creatine, what it is, where it comes from, how your body makes it, etc. I think you'll find it interesting. If anybody else wants a copy, send me an email. I send them out absolutely free. All right, take care. God bless.